This is a snapshot of an identity card. The identity card belongs to Indira Pant. Now, just like this girl, we all have identity cards and it is a compulsion to carry ID cards to school, isn't it? Well, the ID cards contain information like the name of the student, his or her guardian's name, his class, emergency number and the most important is the index number of the student. The index number is unique to every student and it helps the teacher to identify a particular student. Now just as the index number or roll number helps the teacher to identify a student, similarly every place has a specific number that helps us to locate a particular place on a globe or a map. Well, what is this number and how do we get this number? Let's know about it. Have you ever used these apps like Ola, Uber, etc. to book a car? Well, how do you do it? You firstly enter your current location and then your desired destination. And finally, you confirm your right. Now, how do the drivers know your location? Well, a high level technology is imbibed in these apps that helps the driver to locate you. So, using the high level technology, the driver can get your current location and this enables the driver to reach you in few minutes. Now, what is this location of a place and how do we determine it? Let's see. We have already studied about latitudes and longitudes in details in our previous lessons and you already know about them, right? Latitudes are imaginary horizontal lines that run from west to east. On the other hand, longitudes are vertical lines running from north to south. Now, do you think it will be accurate to locate a particular place or a specific place using latitudes only. Well, it won't be possible to accurately locate a particular place using latitudes only because on a particular line of latitude, there can be several places. So, suppose this is 20 degree north latitude. Now, on this particular latitude, there are several places. Similarly, it won't be possible for us to locate a particular place using the lines of longitude because on a particular line of longitude, there can be several places. So, it is not possible to locate a particular place accurately using latitudes and longitudes separately. But what happens if we combine them? Let's see. Now, if we draw all the lines of latitudes and longitudes on a single globe, then it will look something like this. See here, the horizontal lines are the lines of latitudes while the vertical lines are the lines of longitudes. The line in the middle, as we know, is the equator and the middle vertical line is the prime meridian. Now, you see that these vertical and horizontal lines forms a pattern. Do you know what it is called? The pattern formed by the intersection of horizontal and vertical lines is known as grid. So, grid is a network of lines formed by the combination of longitudes and latitudes. So, what is grid? Grid is the network formed by the intersection of horizontal lines and the vertical lines. So, this pattern formed by the longitudes and latitudes is known as grid. Now, let's see if we can locate a place using this grid or grid system. 
Now, I already mentioned that it is not possible to accurately locate a particular place using a single line of latitude. But let's try to locate the place using both latitudes and longitudes. So, this is 40 degree north latitude and this one is 40 degree east longitude. So, at the intersection point of 40 degree north latitude and 40 degree east longitude, we get a particular place, only one specific place, say place X. So, now we find that we can actually locate a place using both the lines of latitudes and longitudes. Now, let us try to locate another place using both these lines. Suppose another place, say place Y is located at this point, that is at the intersection of 20 degree south latitude and 20 degree west longitude. So, at the intersection of 20 degree south latitude and 20 degree west longitude, we get a particular place that is place Y. Now, at the beginning of this lesson, I mentioned that every place has a particular number that helps us to locate that place and that number is nothing but the coordinates of this place. Now, what will be the coordinates of place X? The coordinates of place X will be first the latitude of that place that is 40 degree north and then we write the longitude of that place that is 40 degree east. Similarly, let us try to write the coordinates of place Y. The coordinates of place Y will be first the latitude of that place that is 20 degree south and then the longitude of that place that is 20 degree west. Now, just check that the coordinates of these two places that is place X and place Y are not the same. The coordinates of X is 40 degree north and 40 degree east whereas the coordinates of place Y is 20 degree south and 20 degree west. Similarly, no two places on the globe have same coordinates. Thus, it is possible for us to locate a particular place using this grid system because according to this grid system, a particular place will only have a specific coordinate corresponding to the intersection of the latitude passing through that place and the longitude passing through that place. Now, before we proceed with our lesson, let us try to answer this question. What is a grid? Is it a network formed by the intersection of longitudes and latitudes? Is it a collection of lines found on maps that shows relief features like mountains, valleys, etc.? Or imaginary vertical lines that run in north-south direction or imaginary horizontal lines that run in east-west direction? What do you think? Yes. The correct answer is grid is a network formed by the intersection of longitudes and latitudes. We shall now learn how we can locate a place using the grid system. Well, I have already mentioned that for locating a particular place, you need the coordinates of that place. Here, we want to locate Washington and we have the coordinates of Washington. The coordinates of Washington is 39 degree north and 77 degree west. Well, I have already mentioned that the first number of the coordinates indicates the latitude passing through that place and the second number indicates the longitude passing through that place. So, the latitude passing through Washington is 39 degree north. 
so 39 degree north will lie somewhere between 30 degree and 40 degree north now it will be just little below 40 degree line of latitude so 39 degree latitude will be like this so this is the 39 degree north latitude now what about the longitude of this place well the longitude is 77 degree west so 77 degree west will lie somewhere between 90 degree west and 60 degree west suppose this is 77 degree west longitude so the intersection of the longitude and latitude gives the exact or accurate location of washington so this intersection is the location of washington city so i just mentioned that washington is located at the intersection of 77 degree west longitude and 39 degree north latitude so this intersection gives the exact location of washington now let us try to locate the city of london the coordinates of london is 51 degree north latitude and 0 degree longitude so now let us try to locate london on this map 51 degree north latitude will be just above the 50 degree north latitude. So if this is 50 degree north latitude, 51 degree will be just a little bit above it. So this is the 51 degree north latitude. Now 0 degree longitude is already given and this is the 0 degree longitude. So London is located at the intersection point of these two lines. So this intersection point gives the exact location of London city. So see we have located the city of Washington and London using their coordinates. This map gives the exact location of Washington and London. As I have discussed earlier, Washington is located at the intersection of 39 degree north latitude and 77 degree west longitude, that is at this point, while London is located at the intersection of 0 degree longitude and 51 degree north latitude. Following the same method, you can locate other cities in the world map and for locating the places on world map all you need is the coordinates of those places so in today's video we first understood the meaning of grid system grid system is a network formed by the horizontal lines that is the lines of latitude and the vertical lines that is the longitudes and then we learn how we can locate a particular place on a globe or a map using the grid system. In our next video, we will learn about local time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now